Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about the git show command, which uh, you know is pretty basic on the surface, but I'm going to show you some <laughs> show you some. I'm going to show you some other more advanced invocations of git show and some gotchas. So, let's jump into that. So, at its base, git show is a command that shows the difference introduced by a particular commit or blob. Uh, so if we first look at git log to grab some of these, you know, grab some commit uh, we can grab a commit, and if we run git show on it, oh, I left the keyboard on, oh well. <laughs> if we run git show, it'll show, you know, the the author, the date, the commit message, as well as a patch for that commit. And that's, that's the basics of git show. Um, if you don't pass a commit, so this was the command that we ran before, git show this blob. If you don't pass a commit, it will just show the previous uh, commit. Um, so in this case, like it'll it'll default to git show head essentially git show head, uh, and in this case it's a merge commit which by default will not show any diff unless it was a merge conflict and then it'll show you know whatever conflict resolution happened there sometimes <laughs> it doesn't always do that um, but if you want to actually show the contents of the merge commit uh, you will use the dash m flag to get show so you'll do git show dash m head dash m head and this will show all of the differences to each of the parents so in this case it compares against uh the mainline parent and in this case there was no there's no additional changes introduced in this merge because it was just a simple merge uh but this shows the entire patch that went into this merge commit here um what is the other thing that i want to show oh <laughs> another thing that comes up with git show a lot is it will it has this dash dash name only flag and um, I use this a lot when I'm looking at tagged commits. So uh, again, it doesn't have to be a commit that you're get showing. You can also get show a tag. And so you can see if I get show the 2.5.1 tag of pre-commit, you can see that I modified the change log and I changed the version. That's that's generally how I make a release. Um, and get show has this helpful dash dash name only flag. However, it's not so helpful by default. <laughs> Because uh, you'll see here it spits out just the file names that change. This is kind of like git diff dash dash name only. Uh, but it also has all this garbage here. And so wh what I would like to be able to do is just like take my editor, run a subshell to show just the, the names of the files changed, and like run run my editor that way. However, you can see that it has now opened the uh, commit message junk in the, um, <laughs> in the text editor as files. And it eventually gets to the files that I care about. But there's all this other garbage at the top that I don't want. And you can get around this by doing git show dash dash name only dash dash format equals. <laughs> and I know this looks a little bit weird, uh, but the format equals allows you to select a pretty format for git show. And the empty string format will just cut out all of the information. And so you'll only get the, the file names when you run this. I, I think this might be a bug in git and like maybe this will get fixed at some point. So maybe this tip will, you know not live on forever, but for me, this is this is something that took me a really long time to figure out and has saved me a bunch of time. Uh, but now once we do that format, and I do, you know, my editor, it's actually Babby, it's not Nano, I just have an alias set up. Um, but yeah, you'll see that it now opens those two files, and uh, when I make a release, I tend to do that and just go through each file and make the same sort of changes as the last release. Um, but I think that's all I really wanted to show with git show. Uh, there's some other stuff that you might want to do with it, uh, where like you want to look at a previous commit, but this is just like syntax that works for any git command. So this is like four commits ahead of the current commit, which is head. Um, so you can see like four commits ago, I did the tagged release uh, or something like that. You know, if we go five commits back, we'll get some merge commit and then, you know, combine the tip that I had before with dash M. Oh, that's capital M. I don't know what capital M does, <laughs> but lowercase m will, you know, show the, show the merge there. Anyway, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you learned something or two about Git Show. And if you guys have additional questions, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.